Hey guys, welcome to my YouTube channel at Design with Maha. In today's vlog, we are going to look on to how to attach in camera for a particular object or maybe an interior or exterior that we are going to create in 3ds Max. For that, I am using this object called box under standard primitive and I have created a normal box out of it. And with the help of material editor, I am placing a normal material for my box. As you can see, I have created a normal object with the option called standard primitive and now in order to create a path constraint i am going to use this particular option called shapes and under shapes you can see many kind of shapes formed in it now i am just going for a circle whichever shape is feasible for you you can click on to it it depends upon what object you are creating maybe for interior you can go for a line or if you are going to create some product modeling in 3ds max you can go for arc so it depends upon the item or object which you are going to create under this particular software so as you can see i have placed my circle towards center of my object and now the main topic is about camera we have three cameras as i told you in the before block itself but as on now i'm going to use this particular called target camera because i'm just going to target this one particular object inside if there's going to be one object you can go for target camera or if there is going to be an interior of a house you can go for free camera so that it will be rotating accordingly to the interior which you have created now what i'm doing is i'm adjusting my camera towards the center where my camera will particularly focus on the center object and now in the modify thing you can see the mm lenses you can click accordingly whichever lens you want you can click accordingly so here as you can see the camera is facing towards outwards and the target inside box is facing towards another side for that you have to just click on to the inside box which is present inside the target camera and then place it on this object which you have created maybe the focus of your particular animation as you can see i am placing this particular small box which comes under target camera with the help of mode tool i am placing it towards the center of my object so it is going to be as an focus part of my animation So now as you can see we have attached the camera and also we have created a path constant with the help of circle. Now click cameras over here. You can see the camera movement accordingly. Where you can find the camera is that you will be having a perspective over here. See here you will have the option called perspective defaultly. So click on to that and there you can get this option called cameras and how many other cameras you are going to fix it will come as camera 1, 2, 3 and 4 respectively. Once you are done go to this particular option called motion so click on to this particular option and under that you will have this option called parameter click on to that so as soon as you click on to parameter you will have these three kind of transform position and roll angle click on to position and there you will have a tick icon under that click path constraint and just give an ok and now scroll down Here you will have an option called add path under path parameter which is nothing but click on to the shape like circle, arc, whatever you have created which is going to act as an path. And now here you will have an option called along path which is nothing but the moment of your camera. How much ever you want your camera to move fast you can click on to it. But as of now I am just giving 0.0, .0 and I am giving follow option because the camera will follow the circle or whatever path you have created accordingly. It may be a line so the camera will follow the line accordingly. And once you are done with this click on to auto key and play and check it on to your animation. This is how your camera is going to move. And now as you can see the object is in zoom mode. So what we can do is let me minimize my lens. I am going for 15mm. 20mm is the maximum. I am going for the minimum lens called 15mm. Okay this is it. Depends upon the DSLR camera. However we use the same techniques and constants will be followed under it. So I am going for 15mm lens over here for my target camera 
and as you can see i'm bringing my target towards outside so the particular box at the end will be appearing like this with an out of focus moment So as you can see this is how your animation is going to work it may be either for an interior or for an exterior or for any product modeling or for character modeling you can use this particular formula in order to create an camera movement So as you can see we have created an path animation with the help of path constraint and camera movement and also once we are done with this what we have to do is that we have a particular option called time configuration let me show you that Here you have this option called time configuration. It will look like a clock-like symbol, and there you will have an option called frame rate. Let us be in the NTSC format itself, and here you have the option called speed, which is nothing but how much of a X speed you want your camera to move accordingly. I have given one by four X as for now because it is going to move in a constant meter. If you want the speed to be fast, you can increase it, and here we have start time and length. As soon as I increase the length here, the timeline frame will get increased automatically. So the end time is going to be triple one. Or if you want your camera to end at one twenty, you can give it one twenty and just give an OK. So now let us play the final output. This is how you people will be getting your final camera movement when you do create an. animation for any object or whatever it is going to be in previous mac software you can also attach how much of a cameras you want towards the top you can see towards the left top side comes under camera 001 if you are going to create two or three cameras for a particular object it will come as camera 2 3 4 5 and accordingly so this is how the camera movement will work for all the free camera target camera and also for the physical camera everything will have the same principles and formulas for it Okay guys we have come to end of today's vlog hope you people found it interesting and educative too if so do like share and subscribe to my channel we'll meet you in the next vlog with the same software 3ds max until then take care bye bye